Yo, what's going on everybody? It's a beautiful day. You know, I got this nice view out here that you can't really see. But uh, one of the things that <clears throat> I want to put on you guys' mind is uh, especially for those uh, out in sales or the entrepreneur, you know, they say it's three things you should always be doing, which is they say always be closing. But uh, my spin on it is you should always be creating. Like, yeah, you should always be closing, but you got to always be creating as well. Because if you're not always creating, then you're going to start dying. Okay, you're going to be stagnant. Uh, there's going to be no growth in your business, your life, your company, or whatever it is you're doing. And if you're always creating, then you're going to always be creating opportunities. There's going to always be life in your business or uh, for whatever you're doing. Um... You gotta always be creating a vision, like a new a new vision, a new part of growth. Always creating is growth. And you're seeing the opportunity. You're seeing that you're not stagnant. And uh, you gotta always be creating like a new style. Always creating. If you're always creating, you're gonna stay updated. And you're gonna always be closing because you're creating. But if you're not creating, then you're gonna plummet, you're gonna die, and you're gonna be stagnant. You're gonna become outdated. So instead of always be closing, always be closing, but always be creating, especially for those entrepreneurs, the salesmen, the authors, always be creating, build your repertoire, build your business, uh, uh, your book of business, always be creating relationships, always be creating some way to get you to closing, creating an opportunity for you, yourself, your business, or whatever organization it is. So that's my words of wisdom for you guys. Always be creating.